Hello, and welcome to the City Basics tutorial for Parallel Kingdom. Time to navigate the streets. During the tutorial at the beginning of the game, you are given a city ticket. This ticket grants you the ability to travel to the city center free of charge and access to the resources found there, such as the trade post. To progress further in the game, joining a city will be helpful. Joining a city gives you access to an oil well. To access your well, you simply have to front the cost of joining the city. You will be transported to the well. If you aren't automatically transported to your new well, just take a look at your estates list and your well will appear. Then, just visit your well for the cost of a few rock feathers. Once it is built, you'll be able to gather crude oil, but you will need help from a few little friends to accomplish this. In order to gather certain resources, you will need to use golems. Golems are grown in oil rigs and can be used to continually harvest both crude oil and crystal. Select the oil rig and choose Grow Golem. After your golem appears, you can select it and have it gather crude oil. Over time, golems harvest crude oil, which in turn is stored at the oil rig. Each golem has a timer that shows the progress of accumulating one unit of crude oil. You can return to the oil rig at any time to collect the accumulated oil. Multiple golems can be stationed at one oil rig, but the size of the rig dictates the golem capacity. Crystal is another important resource. To acquire it, find a nearby crystal patch. Access the Create and Build menu and select Crystal Hut. Once you have created the hut, you will need to create additional golems to gather crystal. Go to the oil rig to do this. To collect the resources your golems have gathered, go to the oil rig and select Collect Crude Oil, or go to the Crystal Hut and select Collect Crystal. Because crystal and crude oil are stored in their own respective buildings, there is a maximum amount each can hold. To increase this amount, Select the appropriate building and increase the storage capacity. Research labs allow you to upgrade some game elements. Once you have collected the necessary resources, build the lab near your other structures. Within the lab itself, you can research to increase the number of golems you can support, increase the number of crystal huts available, and increase your garrison post capacity. With each upgrade, the technologies you can research will become more and more expensive. To start researching, select a golem to start getting research points. Armories give golems a more combative nature, equipping them with two different weapons. Archer golems possess bows and arrows and have a ranged attack. Axemen golems wield an axe and can attack at close range. Build your armory near your other buildings, near where you create your golems. To transform a golem into a warrior, select the armory and then select a type. The armory will call over an idle golem and immediately transform them into a killing machine. Siege factories can turn golems into even more destructive weapons. To build your factory, locate your character near an oil well, and select it from the build menu. Once created, you may choose between firebomb golems and siege golems. Make sure you have idle golems available, or the siege factory will not do anything. Garrison posts are very handy defensive structures. Each garrison holds up to three golems. Filling a tower to its capacity helps to ward off higher level raiders. Besides garrison posts' added advantage of defense, any golem killed while garrisoned will automatically respawn after 20 minutes. Garrison posts are the best way to thwart would-be raiders of your resources 